Welcome back to Crusader Kings 2 The Adventures of Emperor Julius Augustus Biggest Dickus, the highest wank in Rome, Emperor of the Western Roman Empire. Uh, cannibal possessed lunatic that people aren't a big fan of, which is why we're about to have a rebellion consisting of nine of our most powerful dukes. Uh, Governor Sedulius of Luciana, which is just south of us as well, which is good, but I'll explain why in a second. Julius, I name you a pretender. Prince Romulus of the Western Roman Empire is the true ruler. Who is Prince Romulus? Let's take a look. Uh, we have Romulus Constantius, a um, flu-bitten blue supporter. Is that a good thing? Yeah, okay, he's a blue supporter, a fellow blue supporter, so we can't complain too much. Um, we have Governor Sedulus, who is a cannibal as well, understandable. Um, and he's a green supporter, which is obviously why we don't like him there. I'm going to say I will not be blackmailed. This is going to be a difficult war. So we've got enough land kicking around, sorry, enough gold kicking around to be able to afford to hire mercenaries if necessary. Now, some of these are going to be our actual troops, aren't they? So let's put those guys down. With our legions, with our holy orders, we're going to put our best commanders on them, which we basically already had. Um, do we want to put commanders on the subunits? Honestly, that's pretty irrelevant. Um, that would take so much time and effort that it's probably not going to be worth it anyway for the amount of bonuses you get. Let's raise our personal levies and raise them in Rome. Now, that's going to give us a little more fortification in the south, whereas before, it would have taken them ages to walk, obviously, down from northern Italy there. So, we should be okay. All right, let's get these boys meeting up in... Hmm, where's the best place? I'm going to say northern Italy. We want to cut them off because they're going to bring, what's that, 3,000... Bring roughly 4,000 troops, 5,000 troops from the actual eastern part of the empire here. So if we can bring our troops together and actually cut them off before they get here, that wouldn't be too bad. And in fact, what we actually might want to go is this way to try and kill off as many troops as we can before they sort of coalesce here. Now with these men, we want to kill off as many of these smaller troops as possible, as quickly as possible. So these boys are... Are they not leading our... We've got Neopetanian, Atheric, and Justinian. Right, okay. So we'll have Saturninius. Sat Saturninus, which is a great name. Um, we'll have Flavius, and we will have uh, Lucinius there. Not the best commanders, but actually pretty good. Now, those boys can definitely take out this troop here, assuming we can keep them isolated down the south, because we have 4,400. They're going to have around, you know, 3,300 there. Let's put these guys, boys down. Put these boys down. Um, they're going to catch us there, which is very unfortunate. Kill those men there. Uh, those are rebels against me, aren't they? Yeah, so we'll kill those there. Kill off a 1,000 stack. Okay, they're going to reinforce, so this could be dangerous. Oh, oh, we absolutely smashed them. Holy shit, that was just basically free war score for us then. Um, they've actually split the army in half, which is even better news, because I was a little bit worried about that battle, but now it's not so much of an issue at all. Right, let's keep an eye on these boys. Chase those ones down. Where are they going? Uh, Scarabans here, so we are actually going to catch those and kill them dead. Now, they're going to have around 4,000 troops left after this. No, no hermetic society, thank you. I'm all right. 30% war score, so they've got 6,000 men. We obviously have more than that, but spread across Italy. So what I'm going to say, counter siege this one for a start. We're at 33%. We need our troops together in one stack to be able to hit this one here. Now, that can only reinforce up to 6,200. So, let's raise the boats and head them over to Rome. We'll pick up these men from Rome after they've sieged the capital and actually move them to go and join with the legions there who are going to finish off this small stack. Excellent. 36%. This is our biggest threat right now. Now, they're also probably not going to reinforce or raise any more troops in a hurry. So, we should be okay. Um, yeah, let's actually just wait for this one to... Do you want to assault it? Because actually, by the time we get there, they'll probably reinforce a little bit as well. Ooh, careful. We lost 500 troops. My son came home. Near Britannia's came home. Came home. He's guide... Guide? He's brave and a guard veteran. Wow. Uh, and he also gained two marshals as well, which is pretty cool. He's a, he's a pretty decent all-round character now, actually. Not too bad. So if we do die horribly during this war, we should be okay. Now, I am throwing these troops away. I agree. Um, an enemy spy. Behead him now and send his head back to the enemy. Sure, why not? Um... Doesn't matter too much, because I'm pretty much going to hire mercenaries anyway, just to ensure that this war goes safely. 240 gold in exchange for peace of mind. That seems pretty good. Uh, mostly light cavalry, so that's actually pretty beneficial. I'm going to do that one. We'll send these boys to counter siege while we're just waiting on the last of their capital to go. Now, they are sieging us, but they're also sieging unimportant, irrelevant provinces up here in the mountains, which I don't mind too much. We're also sieging, but we are just sitting around right now waiting. That could reinforce up to... Holy shit. That could reinforce up to 10k. I suppose that is all three of our um, orders, isn't it? The Legio Italica, the Hellenic Legion, and the um, the other one. The Praetorian Guard, obviously. So, with these boys... Ooh, we want to keep some distance from these, though. We could lead them on the chase through the mountains and let the attrition kill them off, which might not be a bad plan. So, they've joined with another army there, so they can now reinforce up to almost 10,000 men. Where are they heading? Aquila. So, they are actually going to try and catch us. So, we're actually going to lead them on a goose chase through the mountains, if we can. If not, 
We have a pretty decent amount of troops just kicking around when they reinforce as well. It's 45%. The capital's fully siege, right? Get out of there. Okay, they're actually going to counter siege, which I wasn't expecting. Um, as long as we can avoid them and safely not move through the mountains ourselves. Okay, shit. That's not good. They are still chasing us. Don't expect them not to do that. The AI isn't very good at uh, giving chase for specific troops. Yeah, look, they're, they're turning around again now, so that's okay. Kick them out, whatever. Probably should have taken the learning, but that doesn't matter too much. All right, very good, very good, very good. Whatever, merge these troops. I wish, they, I wish you had less events during war. It's one of my biggest complaints about CK2 is that they should definitely reduce the... I mean, events, for the most part, don't have the chance to fire if you're at war anyway. Um, but, I mean, having the fucking hermetic side to ask me if I want to go and stargaze in the middle of the world's largest rebellion. Or at least our world's largest rebellion. The important rebellions. Um, it's not really relevant, is it, game? I'm not too interested, I'll be honest with you. I know it's the pitiful state of my daughter. Call the court position at once. There is another plague by the looks of it, but honestly, I don't really mind that much. This dude, uh, the Kargan of the Utigas, wants to marry my daughter. Sure. I mean, we're not going to be fighting the Utigas anytime soon, are we? Uh, I mean, they're not going to be fighting much anymore either by the looks of it, so we won't worry about that too much. All right. Um, they're not an ally we can rely on. Who have we got? We've got betrothal between my granddaughter and the Rex of uh, Soissons, so France. No, not today. And we've got one here. Uh, Sicker Veneria. Not today, thank you. Alright, merge these troops. Where are their troops? They disappeared into the fog of war somewhere then. Alright, so we got our Frumentari. My son, Neopatanius. You, my friend, I need you to go find out where the troops have gone. Oh, they're all the way down there. How did they get there? Huh. Um. You know what? Let's not worry about it. How many troops have they actually got, though? Uh, 8,200. They just lost a load trying to assault back that province. Which is good for us. Obviously, our troops are going to reinforce much faster than theirs because it's consisting of many different orders. Right, let's kill those troops and this war will be done. Let's put our boats down. Seeing as we're not going to need them, I'm just going to march them through Italy. Give them chance to um, replenish as well. Yeah, they've disappeared into Barium again. So chances are they've got boats probably docked over there. We, could, we should have probably sent my son over there to clear up. Did they seriously just take boats back over there? Um, yeah, something about Rome. It's a great place. Just excellent. Um, well, that's going to get a bit annoying. Okay, raise the boats again. Fine. Understandable. Have a nice day. We'll go ahead and count siege. By the time our boats come together, we should be in a place where we can actually um, depart our boys and go and take them out then. We need to keep... As long as I've got... Why have they done that? They just put them down and... Hmm. They're playing a very strange game here, AI. I don't know why they're doing it the way they are. And now they're back again. Have we just got, not got Fog of War on, like, one province in particular? Have we got... Maybe we haven't got vision on this province. It's kind of hard to tell. They keep disappearing and reappearing. Anyway, not a big deal. Um, got an adventure threat as well. That is a big deal, especially when we're in the middle of this. Let's let this one assault down. Uh, sorry, not assault down. Siege down. Specifically, not assault down, so we can actually let our troops replenish a little bit as well. We are reinforcing 165 soldiers per month. So, we've won this war. It's just a case of actually catching this army whilst maintaining enough damage. Oh, shit. Um... We couldn't afford to pay those, those mercenaries. You know what? Fuck, it's these damn boats. They're so expensive. All right. Uh, I don't need to ask for gold. We're good. No, it's fine. I don't need to ask for gold. We're fine. Don't worry about it. All right. Siege of Akimo. Again, reinforce. Are we, we're still not in profit. Really? Even with these? Why are levies so expensive in this? We've probably got any men raised. We've literally got 2,000 levies raised, and it's apparently costing us a small fortune. Levy upkeep. 86 gold? Huh. Wow. Um, I suppose that's how they balance this mod somewhat then. That's not normal. That is an incredible amount of gold that we're spending there anyway. Let's get some advisors on the council. Uh, you can join and I'll just put on anyone who hates me. So that way they at least like me somewhat better. Um, what have we got? Train some troops in the capital if you want to. I can't believe that that's costing so much gold. Okay, um, getting into a drawn out war was then a really, really bad idea. So let's head north, boys. Uh, sickness and death away. It's all stop pestering me. What we're going to do... We're going to head over there, try and catch the troops, let our troops reinforce on the way. Okay, let's let them come to us, by all means. That's my foul impulses. Now, by the time they get here, we'll have probably reinforced to a decent degree. My concubine Dune is pregnant. Oh, they're actually going to attack us straight away, are they? Okay. Now, we do need to take out a loan so that we are not in... Oh, there's no loans we can take out either. Understandable. Um, ransom all of them. Please. I need the... No, you need to respond quicker. So I can actually not have my army morale decimated. Okay, this might be an issue. You know, I wasn't worried at all. 91% <clears throat> war score, just like that. Now it's just a case of tidying up, I guess. So let's hunt these guys down. After this, 
Uh, what's my plan? Well, I've got a weird plan, and it might not work, so you're gonna have to bear with me when this war is done. What we've got to do is crush these troops, right? Have they got something siege? Oh, they've got a Quila siege. I think we're gonna have to, gonna have to go and counter siege that as well. Thank God, I was worried then for a second that the war would be over that quickly. Getting straight camp fever, it's irrelevant, obviously. Um, I'm not gonna make any non-aggression packs. Sorry? We're cured of our disease, and we gain brave and zealous. Holy shit, that's incredible. I'll take that, thank you. Alright, we're immortal anyway, so it's not so much that I worry about the disease, but obviously gaining those traits was incredible, 94%. Um, I'm not going to make anybody my rival, because that's the only way we can die is by being, you know, executed by the people. Which we were close to being there. Alright, troops down. So here's the plan, I'm going to go full North Korea mode. Everybody we imprisoned, I'm going to revoke all of their titles. Why? Um, I will show you, my friend... When we get there. So the only people we can't revoke from are the Merchant Republics, which is unfortunate because I have a few of those kicking around. Uh, let's sort by titles and actually just go ahead and revoke the most powerful titles first. Um, excuse me. Excuse me? <laughs> I swear that sometimes this screen does not represent where I'm clicking, honestly. I think it's just completely out of calibration or something. Anyway, uh, let's revoke all of these. Um, must have a special review. Oh, because we are at truth with this guy because he was the leader of the war. Okay, he can stay in prison then. Not a big deal. Everyone else, though... I'm going to go full North Korean mode. Now, if you're screaming at the screen, hey, stop it, your vassals are going to hate you. Spoilers, our vassals already hate us. We've got a minus 50 because we're a crazy cannibal. So we have every reason to do this. And to be honest with you, we only stand to gain for it anyway. Why? Well, you will see in a second, my friend. So what we're going to do is revoke every Christian Italian title or Christian Roman title and give them away to good old-fashioned Hellenic Romans instead. Um, then... When we reform the faith, obviously anybody of that religion is going to get a massive opinion bonus with us because we're the head of, head of the religion and we saved the faith. So we can basically cement a very iron grip all over the, the Roman Empire here, assuming that our vassals are our religion. And that's basically what I'm going to do. So even though this is pissing off all of our vassals that exist right now, all of our vassals that exist right now are Christian vassals, so it doesn't really matter that much. And if you've got no vassals, you've got no one to be pissed off at you either. So, you know... <laughs> It's, it is, this is a, a pretty classic CK2 strategy, I suppose. That you revoke all the titles and dish them out to more appropriate people so that, you know, obviously they like you. And I'll, I'll, hopefully I'll be able to show this off pretty well. Um, I don't know if I've ever done it in a series before. But I'm not sure I have. We did it on stream once. Um, and that actually worked really, really well. Except when we did it on the stream, we were working as a Merchant Republic. And we were overextended. So eventually I had to give out some titles rather than just holding off myself. Oh, we can... Sorry? We can actually try and make two more. All the baronies under the province of Noricum are controlled. We can actually reorganize two more bands here. Oh, interesting. Okay. Um, where is Noricum? I'm not entirely sure. But now I'm going to have a look because I didn't know this was possible. Um, maybe maybe I just revoked his title. Maybe that's more likely that I just revoked the title from the Legio Italica there. Um, Noricum? Where is that? We don't hold all the... Oh, shit. They've got it. Salzburg. Right, okay. Remind me to grab that one afterwards, then. Okay, so what are we going to do now? Well, we'll go to our other vassals and see if any of them are willing to have their titles given back. He's going to say yes, which obviously we will allow to happen. Um, this guy hates us because our domain is too big. So what we're going to do, and this is the next step. This is very important because if you unpause at this point, you're just going to get an immediate other rebellion. We're going to go ahead and we're going to find the character finder. We're going to go My Religion, My Culture. Sort by Stewardship. Very important that you sort by Stewardship because those are the people who are going to help convert your provinces. In fact, I've probably set up, yeah, a pre-existing um, a pre-existing sort here. So we're going to give this guy, like, a Puila? Yep, we'll give this guy a Puila. Um, I'm going to... So I've tidied up the round, given out some titles, uh, minor titles, and actual landed titles as well. And it's pretty much worked exactly as I thought there. So we've got more or less a 50-50 split between Hellenic vassals and Christian vassals. Um, in terms of Hellenic vassals, absolutely love me for some reason. Pretty of a leech, plus 100. Now pay attention to how many powerful vassals we've got here. So we've got one, two, three... Um, should we include this guy and like him or hate me? He's sort of neutral. So four powerful vassals, which most likely won't rebel against us. Um, or at least three of them we know for definite. And we've got one, two... Okay, so we've only got two vassals that would potentially rebel against us in, in the form of uh, Lucatus Gloriotros and uh, Anthricus Hathacid. 
What am I going to do about those? Well, we're going to tidy them up if you catch my drift, by which I mean I've started a plot to kill them already. So we'll kill those guys off. That's going to help naturally um, rebuild relations with our Christian vassals until at least we can wait another couple of years and get religious intolerance law. How long do we have to wait? Oh, shit. Hang on. It's only another year. Right. All we've got to do then is coax forward a year. Revoke all those titles with absolutely no complaint for anyone else. The council. I was very careful about picking my councillors. The council love me. Um, understandable though. I am a I am a benevolent emperor here. Uh, so oh, this guy. This guy does not love me. Why don't you advisor Felix? Advisor uh, fired. Revoke honorary title. Pro Wait, is a proxy not say? Uh, fire council. There we go. That's what I'm looking for. I was like, is that the is that the name of a, a an advisor in this? Alright, so let's go ahead and actually just appoint a group of people. I'm going to appoint that dude because he almost liked me anyway. Um, I'm going to appoint some loyalists so that we can actually push this law through quicker. What about you? Why don't you like me so much? Um, Revoke Vassal Tarts minus 45. Crazy Cannibal minus 50. See, if we didn't have Crazy Cannibal, all of our vassals would probably be a big fan of us despite doing that ridiculous ramble shop we did then, which should hopefully act as some proof that it definitely works as, um, as I'd intended to do. It's just, the, you know, the whole cannibal thing. Not a big fan of that. We'll perform a sacrifice to the gods and increase our diplomacy as well a little bit there. And hopefully maybe even kill off this dude. Alright, um, I need you to collect some taxes for me because I'm very, very poor. My son, you head to the Byzantine Empire and copy their illustrious Eastern technology. Uh, you can train some troops because I have a feeling the shits might, might hit the fan. So let's find ourselves a wife with good stats. Preferably diplomacy to try and cancel out um, <laughs> a little bit of the whole cannibal thing. Uh, gender, women. Uh, she's not bad. Can I? Oh, she's married. Married? No. Um, Idun, courtier in Nordland. Uh, does that mean other people have potentially become immortal as well? I think we should probably look through the list. She's saying no. Uh, what if I actually send the request, though? Oh, we'll still say no. Is she... She's not a counselor or anything like that. She's 45, but again, we're only marrying her for the stats, so I don't mind too much. Why don't we buy a favor? Um, buy a favor. She, we need 40 gold, and we've got minus 118. Okay, fair enough. You know what? Uh, let's just send you a, a gift. No, invite to... Does anyone want to join my court? Anyone at all? What if I offered... Uh, what if we just try and arrange a marriage? Maybe that'll work. Uh, yes, it will, of course. Because we are the Roman Emperor. I'm not surprised there. Alright, that should help increase our state diplomacy a little bit there. Dangerous factions. This is what I was worried about. It's only 4,700 men. So it's not that much of a worry there. Um, my son. Valen's biggest dick... I had a son? They're just zero? Did that happen during the war and I just completely overlooked it? Oh well, doesn't matter that much. I've got several words and stumbled on a line or two of the holy verses. How embarrassing. Right, how is this boy doing? Uh, morale of armies, national tax, uh, local revolt is minus 10%, general, modif general opinion plus 5. I'm going to go with morale of armies because I don't think general opinion or morale of armies is going to make that much of a difference in the wars to come. Uh, Again, it's right, charitable. That wouldn't be bad. Oh, we've already got charitable. Okay, fair enough then. Don't point that thing at me. Excellent. There's one vassal down. May there be peace between heaven and earth. We've had that event a hundred times, so I'm sort of uh, going over them pretty quickly here. Okay, August... Uh, oh, sorry, Aetius. I thought his name was August then. Um, Aetius Constantius has declared war on us with 4,900 men. He's going to walk through the Byzantine Empire and probably die to attrition. Oh, no. One difficult vassal down. Uh, what? Who's next on my kill list then? Uh, and how's that work for us? Minus 86 instead. Infidel, Chris Cannibal, Greens versus Blue Supporter, wants to see it on the council. You know what? The way you guys are going, I'm going to actually pass religious intolerance. Why can't we get it now? Oh, my lord. Okay. Um, I thought we'd fulfilled this already once, eh? Um, well, the following must be true. Yeah, we definitely got that. Were we not? Wait. We've gotten down to medium centralization? When did that happen? When? Yeah, but when did that happen, though? All right, then, back up to medium centralization. Um, not sure how the hell I missed that, but there we go. Uh, I imagine people are voting in favor anyway. Does someone vote against me? Did they force a law on me or something? Well, I mean, everyone's voting in favor for it, so it doesn't matter that much. Cursed heathens. Um, well, that's a little bit annoying. Because now we're going to have to wait, like, another friggin' ten years before we can get religious intolerance. Okay, five years. It's crown law. Um, oh, it's not a crown law, I should say. Well, that's all right, then. Um, well, that's the first lot of his troops, and they've landed in Rome. Um, aha, right. Let's get these boys together. Norther. Uh, you boys in the Souther. Well, we just wait for them to leave Rome and then raise the troops in Rome and kill them, right? Uh, yeah, that's that's much easier. Much better plan. All right. Uh, let's actually get some good commanders and not get too complacent here because we are going to need to keep as many levies as possible for the big wars to come. Then we can actually get back to conquesting and try and reform this damn faith before our character dies of his immortal old age. 
Okay, there we go. That was a very good uh, conquest. Thank you. Good host war. 10 out of 10. Um, and now, my friend, you get devoured? No devouring, though? Uh, let's put... It's because I'm leaving troops. No, I'm not leaving troops. Um, why... Excuse me, why can't I devour this man? We've got him in our prison as well. Can I execute him? Uh, that's tyrannical, apparently. Oh, that's tyrannical. Right, understandable. Ju Legatus Julius Caesar of Luca has formed an alliance with some people. We need to be careful of that. Caesar must start on his own. I'm not getting myself any other rivals here. Um... You will not accept my offer. Well, then break the friggin' betrothal if you're if you're that upset by it, my friend. Uh, oh, no, now he's offering. It's okay, fine. Don't worry about it, guys. What about these dangerous factions? Um, Gavacon Succession, 3,000 men. Independence, 6,100 men. Ooh. Uh, not a big fan of that. And this was the dude, actually, we killed off, wasn't it? Yeah, it actually was. It's because he's a because he supports a different chariot team to me. Wow. Okay, that seems rational. Who else is in this faction that needs to die? Um, you, my good friend. Pontifex uh, and Twelfo. Let's send a gift to this dude before he's landed. And then we'll go ahead and kill off this man instead. I'm going to keep doing this and tidy up the realm. My co-conspirator, Proconsul Annius III. And that was basically no time whatsoever. Those things are death traps. Kill him dead. Your chaos store has collected a... Oh, nice. A tithe is very, very good. I'm actually going to sit on this money for a while. Um, I will take that because we've already got that anyway. Oh, no. He's dead. Right. Is that one less difficult bastard to deal with there? Um, what title? And who has inherited? A guy who kind of likes me. Okay, that's a good start. Who else is in this damn faction then that I need to deal with? Um, Prince Romulus for the rest of the Roman Empire. Can I just execute him? No. Uh, maybe we could just get rid of him, because that would just deal with the whole faction in one fell swoop. And that should be pretty easy to get rid of him, seeing as he's in our prison already. Really, no one wants to join? No potential plotters? Really? Okay, just took him in the Ubliet. I mean, he's got... He's old. He's 58. He's not going to last long in the Ubliot, let's be honest. All right, let's find someone more important to kill then. How about you, my Germanic friend? Um, House Scree, Scurian. Sure. Uh, kill Friedrich the Evil. Well, that's convenient for us because that's going to make him a lot easier to kill, I think. So I'm going to do something crazy and flip over to either theology or rulership. And I'm actually thinking of theology because there is a chance we can get unpossessed and unstressed, although they are kind of funny, so I don't mind too much if we don't lose those. Um... Just try and get ourselves some better traits. Now, we could go for rulership to get just, which will obviously help cement our rule a little bit more here. Not that, you know, it isn't already pretty damn powerful at this point. Who are you? Um, oh, it's this, it's this creepy boy. Oh, it's, it's... He wants to make an alliance with me? With your 188 men. I'm going to say that seems a little one-sided, so I'm going to say no for now, but thank you for the offer. For my son and potential heir, depending on how things go. Oh, that was also pretty convenient. My conspirator has let me know that Governor Friedrich will die by poison wine. Thank you. Um, I found him a genius... Uh, a genius wife there. She is a filthy Germanic pagan. But, honestly, she's genius. She's brawny. Those are both pretty good. So, hopefully we can get at least genius into the family tree. Obviously, brawny's not inheritable, but hopefully we can at least get one genius from Prince Neopotanius there and try and work on the eugenics program in the long term, just in case we do drop down dead. Worst case scenario, we just eat her and uh, take the genius trait for ourselves. My wife is pregnant. No, look, I don't want any more kids. Honestly, I'm not even looking after the ones I've got. Can we just become like celibate or a, a voluntary eunuch or something an important nobleman of your realm has recently married a great beauty who seems to have appeared out of nowhere you must have pleased venus and cupid sure oh no another troublemaker vassal dead oh shit hang on if we kill this kid off we inherit the, the, the all of his titles back so yeah i think we'll do that as well getting the trait lustful oh my god we're getting the trait fucking lustful he's 95 years of age cock -a -doo. experiencing much stress will that rooster shut up i'm i'm awake Oh, no. Um, sure, we'll betroth my daughter to the king of Angloland? Sounds like a trustworthy man. All right, Angloland, there you go. My reputation is ruined. Not a big deal. I don't think we have to worry about our reputation at this stage. Oh, no. Uh, the hunter did what he was paid for and made sure Governor Harperdale never returned from the hunting trip. What a shame. To hunt man is truly the greatest sport. Ravenna, you are a Roman man. So guess what you're about to inherit, my friend? That's right. Uh, Flam Flaminia. Uh, there you go. Boom. All right, that's that problem dealt with. How many more troublesome vassals have we got now? Um, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. That's a lot of troublesome vassals. Which ones are actually causing trouble, I should ask? Um, factions? Gavacon Succession? Well, you're leading two factions, so now you've got to die, my friend. Why are you like this? Are you still, are you still one of the previous? Yeah, minus 225 because I revoke vassal titles. All right, you're next on my kill list. My son, I need you to go and direct efforts into murdering this man? No, hang on, that's not right. Let's make sure we murder the right man. Um, where was he? 
Sardinia. Oh, right. Okay, fair enough. I didn't even realize I had a Merchant Republic in Sardinia, but there we go. Right, go and kill that man off. We can create three Kingdom Tiles, but I'm not going to do that just because Vassal Kings doesn't seem like a good idea right now until we've reorganized the RAM a little bit better. Um, we do have an Attractive Zone. I never realized. That's better than nothing, I suppose. You are no longer content to rest on your laurels. Gain the trait Ambitious. Excellent. Thank you, Rulership Focus. Oh, shit, we gain just as well? Rulership me cause increase your sense of justice. Holy shit, has that made our vassals like us a little more? You know what, it's probably made more people hate us more than anything else. Because now that we're going to have the Ambition Malice as well. Now, the governor of Cilia doesn't think too badly of us. He must have just inherited or something. What happened? Died of poor physique. Okay, right. You, my friend, get some gold. Welcome to the good side. Um, I would give you an honorary title as well, but you're 12. So when he grows up, I'll give him, I'll give him a, an honorary title as well. Wow, I couldn't make this shit up. Neopotanius, biggest stickers. Thrifty. Genius. Wow. Okay, that was quick. Um, what a turnaround. Nice. The genius grandson. Um, you are not going to be called Neopotanius. You are going to be named after the great and powerful uh, Julius Nepos. Ju Julius? Julius? <laughs> That's what I know. Tyler. Julius Nepos. Uh, we're going to call you Massive Massivus. Massivus? I don't think that's Latin, is it? We'll just go with that. Julius Nepos Massifus Biggestickus. The finest Roman Roman name. Maybe one day the highest rank in Wome. Plus he's genius. Uh, I'm actually going to educate myself as well. Just so we've got a decent backup child on the way in case we do die. Now we're actually a really decent character to be educating kids. Diligent, charitable, gregarious, zealous. Um, just, ambitious. Ignore these. <clears throat> they're not relevant. But the rest, they're really good. So we'll ransom out all the characters in our prison who aren't rulers here. Um, we've got a charge to arrest this man. Absolutely not. I'm not, I'm not going to do that because he's a nice guy and I don't want to upset him either. She's got shit on her face. What is that? Oh, it's, it's great pox. Oh, I feel I feel a bit rude now. Apologies. My, my mistake. Um, but you know what Roman times were like. You know, the, the sanitation wasn't exactly up to standard. My co-conspirator, Proconsul Valerius of Campania, has let me know that Proconsul Aurelian of Sardinia will die by poison wine. So we can get away with it again. You doing his pregnant? But that can't be right. I agree. Uh, we've returned Imperator Caesar Justinian the Flayer's friend there. Rufinus Biggest Dickus. Why is he going to... Uh, I was going to say Rome then. Wow. Why is he going to Eastern Rome? Not sure, but their Basilius is actually very powerful right now. He's a, he's a really, really good character. Come on, I want to see if this plot works. Um, I trust a word. The flesh is weak. Forgive and forget. Flavius Maximus. Yep, whatever. Kill him. Oh, he didn't drink the wine, but he was unable to... Con Uncover my conspiracy. And then we've also got another one as well. This guy's just going to go off wine permanently if we're not careful. Go off my court position. And he did not drink the wine and my complicity was discovered. Oh no. As long as we're not actually caught in the act of murder, I don't mind too much. My co-conspirator, Proconsul Valerius. Don't worry about the woman burning in the background. My co-conspirator, Proconsul Valerius, has hired someone to saw through the supports of a railing. All right then. Time to die, my friend. Is this time... Is it... Oh, it's still... This guy is unkillable. That's three attempts. He's apparently stressed as well. Understandable seeing as, you know, I'm trying to make an attempt on his wife. Uh, my wife is pregnant. My, my His life, not his wife. I might kill his wife, though. What does she think of me? She kind of likes me, so I'm not going to make an attempt on his wife. His heir, though, uh, very much hates me, so let's hope that he is not in line to inherit here. Um, Peter Familiaris Nerva? So, definitely not him. Septimus Sigmus? Uh, huh. As in the guy in the outpost with, with Hermaeus Mora? Master Julius, my dear colleague, not today, my friend. A viper? Excellent. Right. Is this time... Oh, are we actually going to kill him now? Savi of Familiaris and Rome Prospers as well. Now, we spent all our gold on upgrades, seeing as we were sat in about 3k there. I hate snakes. Brilliant. Okay, we failed again. This dude is unkillable compared to the last ones. I'm saying that, we probably just got very lucky, didn't we? Our daughter, named Junior. Terrible daughter. We're going to call you, um, not so big a stickers. Okay. Fourth time's a charm. Here we go. Hopefully, I'm going to edit all this shit out of, of waiting around for this man to die. Did not die again. Just just throw him in prison. For God's sake, just get rid of him. Revoke title. Give me that. Yeah, we can actually just revoke his title, but he will rebel. Why can we revoke that merchant title, but not this merchant title? Um, revoke, Yeah, we just can't revoke this one, but we can revoke the other one, eh? Don't know why that is. Very strange. Anyway, we'll leave that there for today. Otherwise, we are going to be here forever. Thank you for watching. Shout out to Big Dick Timmy, Sean Thornton, Zachary Harris, Harik, Lucas Holting, Hey Dog, Croesus, Gabriel Vendors, Josh Lindy and Tesla, Michael Mullen, Logan Thorne, Conspire T, James Ogilvy, Escape and Jackson Wyvern for their support at the highest of the best Patreon tiers. And of course, Nathaniel Limburg, Brandon Mintoniak, Necrophilum, Felix Dill, Princess Ugly the Dragon, Nick, Noble Esquit, Lutchley, Zar Even, Procundo Vasquez, Paul Master, Imperator Augustus, Jack Allen, Chancellor Chief Palpatine, I am the Lizard King, Lionel Thomas, Yoran DeVries, UFT, Stun Coyne, 17, Jordan Campbell, Asoro, and Sidney for their support as well over on the Patreon page. 
Well, this one seems to have gone on for ages, so I'm going to have to edit around this one a lot just to try and keep him the important stuff. Thank you for watching. The run is reorganized. Our character is looking really, really good right now. He's like a really well-balanced character there. Um, you know, despite a little bit of an inclination towards uh, learning. Next time, we'll try and reform the faith.